All hope is not lost for Big 12 teams trying to find a home in the Pac-12. That comes today after reading in the Las Vegas Review-Journal quotes from George Klievkov, the Pac-12 commissioner. Welcome in here to the channel. I am John Kurtz. Talk college football every single day here on this channel. Right now that means talking conference realignment every single day. And I try to give the Big 12 in particular a voice because there's not much of one on the national scene right now. So please do subscribe if you have not. And also like and comment on the video. All of that stuff does really help me. So Pac-12 Commissioner George Klievkov did an interview with the Las Vegas Review Journal. And that would seem to be fairly mundane if not for the fact that he came out with quotes saying that the Pac-12 is considering expansion and that decision could come within a couple of weeks. There's already a committee put together and it seems like the wheels are in motion basically of the Pac-12 going through the same process that the Big 12 went through in 2016. Yes, it was not all that long ago that the Big 12 was pursuing actively and fairly publicly expansion candidates. Uh, The Pac-12 apparently is doing the same type of thing right now. Here's some quotes from the article. Here's the first one from Klievkov. Quote, I am not actively poaching any school or convincing anyone to leave their existing conference, but I wouldn't be doing my job if I wasn't listening to schools that wanted to go to the Pac-12, and we've had a lot of them reach out. Probably all the ones you'd expect and several you'd be surprised by. Now, that is an incredibly intriguing quote. The ones you'd expect, I'm sure that includes basically the entire Big 12 or Big 8, if you want to call them right now, irate 8, whatever moniker it is that you're giving to them. You expect those teams would all be in the teams you'd expect, but who are the teams you wouldn't expect? He goes on to say, quote, we have taken initial meetings with everyone that's expressed an interest. Also very interesting, right? So there there have been meetings happening between Big 8, Big 12 schools and the Pac-12 and Commissioner George Klievkov. I mean, I don't know. Is that all lumped into the Big 12 meeting with Bob Bowlesby? What, What exactly is happening behind closed doors? Apparently more than we've been led to believe right now. Here's more from Klievkov. We have a working group who are together deciding on what to recommend. At the end of the day, they'll make the decision about whether or not to offer admission to the Pac-12 or any other schools. There's no hard deadline related to any of this, but we will have a decision on whether we intend to expand or not in the next couple of weeks. (laughs) The next couple of weeks. I mean, I'm not going to lie. All of this is pretty shocking to me, and it comes from a, a relatively nondescript otherwise article here. You know, I mean, the point, and you're going to hear in just a minute from the author of the article, who is Mark Anderson from the Las Vegas Review Journal. I had a chance to catch up with him and get some more insight into what this conversation was like. But this interview basically happened because of the Vegas connections that Klievkov had in his time with MGM Grand to Vegas. And there were some questions about future of Pac-12 tournaments, etc., still being in Vegas. And that's how he winds up being able to ask these hard-hitting questions here and I just would not have expected Klievkov to go this in-depth about it and shed light on what's happening with Pac-12 expansion, but here we are. It is pretty shocking to me, especially the fact that we got the the news today also about the Pac-12, Big Ten, and ACC alliance moving forward. Nicole Auerbach of The Athletic reported that that is expected to be formalized pretty soon and could be as soon as next week that we would get an actual formal announcement about the alliance between those three conferences. So to me, that seems like The Pac-12's got some cover. They have some safety for right now. There is some strength in numbers to those three really syncing up and forming a voting body to go against the SEC and that that would put expansion on the back burner for right now. But it actually seems to be just the opposite. Klievkov is going after it, at least in terms of evaluation right now. And let's think about that timeline for a second as well because if it turns into the Pac-12 actually inviting Big 12 schools, which I still, let me make clear, As shocking as this is to hear, I still think it's very unlikely that that would happen, that they would go add Big 12 schools in the next couple of weeks. But if it did, right, that possibility has been opened up here. Think about the chaos of being in like week three, you know, September 15th or something, week three of the college football season, and now we find out that, say, Oklahoma State and Texas Tech are going to the Pac-12. That would be bonkers with everything happening with the season and then that on top of it. I mean, that could get pretty wild, so uh, strap it on, I suppose. Now, to get some more context on this conversation and Q&A with Klievkov, I was fortunate enough to be able to catch up earlier today with Mark Anderson from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. He's the one that conducted this interview. He asked some great questions, including one that you're going to find out was not answered by George Klievkov, and that is very interesting in its own right. But without further ado, here is that conversation. What to you was the biggest takeaway from your your sit-down with Klievkov? 
I, I was surprised he went as far as he did uh, talking about a span, possible expansion. I, I figured he would just kind of put that to the side and, and not be, make a big issue. But the fact he said that they have a working committee, they've actually talked with teams uh, or schools and, and that they're going to decide pretty quickly whether to expand or not, I, I thought was, uh, was surprising he would, he would go public with that. I mean, what, what kind of sense did you get for how serious they are? I guess maybe the answer is they have a committee that probably tells you, but how, how seriously do you feel like they are legitimately considering expansion at this point? Well, I, I think they probably figured if all these schools are reaching out, at the very least, they need to see what their options are. And so I, I think that's really what it is. I mean, I, I don't think they're committed one way or another. If I had to put money on it at the end, I think they probably stayed pat with 12. I just don't think in the Western uh, times or Pacific Central time, or Mountain time zones that they're really interested in any schools. I don't know what, who the top candidates be other than maybe BYU, and then there's some issues with BYU. So uh, I just don't know where they go, and then I don't know if they want to go start going to the Central time zone. So if, if the, at the end, I think they are going to remain with 12. How much did you get a chance to talk to Klievkov about the alliance that's been formed here with the, the Big Ten and the ACC, if, if at all? And what's your sense for what that means, really, for, for the Pac-12 right now? Yeah, I asked him about that, and he, that was the only question he no commented. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> and then Nicole Nauerbach today with the report that it's, it's you know, it, it might be more than just a scheduling alliance. So you can see why he really didn't want to talk about it publicly. I mean, because I think, I think there's a lot of touchy stuff right now. They're still trying to figure out a lot of things. You know, and it's real interesting. There's no Big 12 mentioned, you know, and if you're in the Big 12 right now, you know, you you really have to be wondering what, what does the future hold? I very much appreciate Mark Anderson for taking the time to join me here. You can find a link to him on Twitter, to the original article, all in the description here of this video. You can also find links to anything you need from me, whether that is Twitter, whether it's my daily radio show, um, obviously the YouTube channel here as well. You can find all of that in the description. Please do subscribe if you have not. College football every day, giving the Big 12 a voice, lots of conference realignment here on this channel. And as always, please like and comment on the videos as well. It does definitely help. Have a good weekend, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.